Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mods of the Month, a monthly show where I showcase the best mods of the month and give my opinions on them and if I would recommend them to you guys. If you want to see more of this content, drop a comment that says Thalmor are trash. And if you're watching me for the first time, make sure to subscribe and drop a like. Thanks guys, let's get started on this video. Okay, so the first mod is Roderick's Dragon Bridge Retexture, a full texture replacer for the very popular mod Roderick's Dragon Bridge. Now, I personally didn't even play with Roderick's on, but when I saw the absolute gorgeous textures for this mod, I had to install it. It really makes it look like a medieval settlement, especially because of its proximity to solitude. Now, the textures of this mod can range from 2k to 4k. The dynamic range of colors used in this retexture make it look great. The stone in contrast to the wood and the roof tiles make it stand out and bring a new light to this unique settlement. In fact, Dragon Bridge has so much potential, but most of it was wasted due to the vanilla design and lackluster features. Now Dragon Bridge is a standout landmark and really fits the lore considering it houses Commander Maro. To touch on the colour scheme again, the flora that resides in and out of Dragon Bridge is bright green and just adds incredible variance to the colours that already exist on the buildings of this settlement. In conclusion, this mod is an incredible overhaul to an already amazing overhaul itself, making it stand out amongst the month's collection of new mods. On to the next mod. The next mod is a new custom voiced follower mod that introduces a character that I would assume many of you are already familiar with. This is Triss Merigold, a new custom voiced follower that brings the beloved dear darling Triss into the Elder Scrolls universe better than any other mod. I'll start with a new outfit she has on. Her new outfit is incredibly detailed with striking resemblance to The Witcher 3, and I know that's obvious, that is where this mod got its idea from, but the detail on the outfit is amazing considering it is, after all, just a Skyrim mod. Now, if we actually look at the outfit, the difference in colour from the leather brown to the bright green, as well as the smaller details like a satchel on her hip, make the mod more immersive and it stands out compared to Skyrim's vanilla boring outfits and armours. She has over 200 fully voiced lines of dialogue from The Witcher 3 and they fit incredibly well into the game of Skyrim, which is surprising. I usually give some sort of criticism, but I only have one gripe with this mod. I think it would be better if she had a short quest, maybe to find a spell tome or something just to give her some more personality. That being said, she does have a small unmarked romance quest that makes it more interesting than just showing up with an amulet of Mara. Since you guys probably want to hear her voice, here it is. Yes, it's me. Oh, places where I managed to get by without your help too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It sounds very immersive if I do say so. She can be found in the Sleeping Giant Inn over at Riverwood. I've pretty much covered the base things from this mod. I recommend doing your own digging and to find out new things since I didn't cover everything. Thanks guys, that's it, on to the next mod. The next mod is a brand new armor mod. This is Spindrift Knight, a brand new full set of two armors. This armor mod is already one of my new favorites, not only because of a style, but also because of the immense customizability. The outfits were inspired from the game Genshin Impact. Now I've never played the game myself, I'm not into anime or Japanese media one bit, but I do really like this armor. Now this armor is layered, meaning that different pieces of the armor blend and mesh with each other very well and like I said before, can make it very customizable. This also means that you don't have to worry about clipping issues since you can just remove the item of clothing that is giving you those issues. Now this armor is obviously not lore friendly to the game of Skyrim, but perhaps if you want to turn Skyrim into an anime, this mod would be appropriate. Anyway, this mod is an extremely well made mod but just goes to show you that the modding community is still active and lively and guess what there's more of this going to be coming out so get ready for more armor mods and more awesome stuff like this anyway let's move on to the next mod the next mod i'll be covering is a new gameplay mod that adds an item to your game to fully change your gameplay this is skyrim paraglider skyrim paraglider is an awesome new mod that gives us the opportunity to float around skyrim with ease now i love this mod it gives me the advantage of not having to fast travel and to take in the scenery. This mod also helps you travel long distances, especially when not being able to fast travel, even though there are no enemies nearby. You complete a short quest to find the paraglider and afterwards you are completely free to glide wherever you want. This adds a massive gameplay change to your game and it makes it much more fun, especially since most mods aren't built for flying and Skyrim itself isn't really built for flying around everywhere. So a couple glitches can occur, but most of all you'll just be having fun gliding wherever you want. Let's move on to the next mod. 
Next up is BURP Spell Tomes, a small retexture of all the magic tomes in the game. Everything from conjuration to restoration to even destruction is all retextured with this awesome unique mod. This mod provides hands down some of the coolest looking designs for a spell tome retexture. The round symbol on the front symbolizes what magic it is as well as adding some character to the book. All tomes now have their own inscribed patterns and have a variety of much cooler looking colors depending on what type of magic tome it is. This mod is a small one but a good one that I recommend everyone adds to their list of mods. Now the Triss follower was good but why don't we spend some time looking at the other follower on this list. This is Vixie Talix. Now Vixie Talix is a fully custom voiced high elf follower with a unique set of armor and can be found at the Winking Skeever Tavern in Solitude. She has a slight bit of an attitude when you first meet her but over time she'll get to know you. You can customize her in many ways when installing the mod. She has recently had many updates like having different unique lines for each each city. She's a great follower even though she does need some work. I would recommend giving her a try because you never know, she may become one of your favourite followers. Uh, I'll show you guys some of her unique lines right now. Hello. It's a good day to be adventuring, isn't it? What do you wish of me? As you can see, she has somewhat of a soothing voice, something like a high elf should sound. She's just a great follower in general and really helps with the combat and everything else. She also has more of a romantic side as she was built as a follower to do some more of that kind of stuff, but you can just use her as a normal follower as well. That's it for this mod, let's move on to the next one. The next mod is Redoran Exile Armor. Now this is one of my favorite armor mods in an extremely long time. Now I'm a massive fan of the culture and history of Morrowind. Dagoth Ur is one of my favorite characters in gaming history, so seeing an awesome and unique piece of armor inspired by the Dunma culture is making me giddy with joy. Now this armor is for the Dunma house of Redoran. The Redorans are a highly militaristic, honor-bound house that have been extremely important in Morrowind's history. They fought off the Argonian invaders at the turn of the fourth era and have been warring with the Nords for centuries. This armor reflects the highly unique style of Morrowind's people and culture. The uniqueness of the armor makes it stand out which is completely compatible with Morrowind since Morrowind as well stands out among the other provinces, just like this armor stands out among the other sets. It looks amazing and like I said before, it's one of my favorite sets of all time. The design with the bone mold and the robes and a slight tinge of Japanese style make it all blend together perfectly. This just makes the armor look even cooler and especially when wandering around Raven Rock and Solstheim time in general, you really blend in with the environment. You can imagine yourself as a Red Around house member. I really hope you guys enjoy this mod like I do and with that being said, let's move on to the next mod. This is the great town of Shaw's Stone Enhanced. Like Roderick's Dragon Bridge, Retexture. This is a retexture of the great town of Shaw's Stone, a mod that overhauls a small town of Shaw's Stone to make it more lore friendly and immersive. This mod retextures that mod for the modern times by bringing high quality textures to the game and immersing the player with high quality visuals. This makes Shaw's Stone look awesome and helps bring the vitality to this town that before was quite bleak and bland. The town now looks like something that was spoken of in the old Nordic tales mentioned to you by an old grey wanderer, a story of battle and triumph that lingers through the farmhouses of a town named after the best god in the Elder Scrolls. Yes, Shaw and also Lord Khan are my favorite gods in the entire Elder Scrolls and I can't help but be biased to this town. This new design helps to bring some of the old Nordic culture back into Skyrim. The textures used in this retexture help add diversity to the once plain roads, houses and the town itself. Now it stands as a strong beacon in the rift, ready to take on the trials and adversity of Skyrim. Small glitches and bugs are present which is usually the case with these mods but overall I rate this mod very highly but go check it out for yourself it is really cool. The last mod on this list is Take a Seat. This mod adds new animations for sitting down to the Dynamic Animation Replacer. Now it is only a very small mod but it adds a lot of immersion because sitting the exact same way every time, it's not very immersive. This mod changes up the animations for every time you sit down giving you a different sitting animation from what you're usually used to. Now I can't really go into massive detail because there isn't much to say other than it makes a big difference in immersion. So that's it for this mod, it just changes up the sitting animation 
animations for you and gives you a variance of different animations, which helps to increase your immersion. That is the conclusion and that is the review. It's a good mod, download it, you'll have fun. And that is it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I've been a bit stressed out recently trying to get stuff done. I've moved a bit, done all this and that, and I haven't really had time to make a bunch of videos. But now I'm finally moved, I'm ready to make videos again. I'm ready to just do all my shit that I usually do. Put out content, really good high quality content for all of you. I'm excited for Anniversary Edition, which is coming out on the day of I'm recording this. And yeah, that's about it. Make sure to drop a sub and drop a like if you enjoyed this video. And remember to comment because that helps boost the algorithm. So I'll see you guys all soon. Bye.